What's up you guys? We're here today to talk about Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, what do you guys say, Andrew? I don't like the executive sword. See, he's a poser. Wow. It is, yeah. Basically... <laughs> it, it, it's a giraffe tree. One of these things. But how do you go from a group of eggs into a pineapple tree? I think this is actually his original form. I mean, the um, description has hinted at the fact that it looked like this in the past. And now we have, in almost a, over a decade, you know, finally get to see the true form. It's, they're located in Alola. Alola? Yeah, the Alola. Hawaii. Hawaii version of Pokemon. There you go, yeah. Or wait, the Pokemon version of Hawaii. But Real life is getting crazy. It is. You know, we got but, but how does it evolve from a group of eggs into a pineapple tree? You know, Pokemon obviously is a game. You know, it wouldn't be fun if we had to wait millenniums to kind of get like a big old dinosaur looking tree. Yeah. It wouldn't it be like a, bitch, like a gang of chickens glued together? That would make more sense. Hey, don't give them too many ideas. They're gonna. Find <laughs> Yo, you owe me money if y'all do it. I want that money. Executor, when it evolves to this Alola form, it yeah. gains a nah. type advantage of being a, a is it, dragon. Is it really? Yeah. And also has an extra coconut on the tail. Does it really? Yeah. Okay. Supposedly, and like, neck. It, you know, it watches back. Hopefully, when it comes out Pokemon Go, you know, it can turn around. You know, Pokemon Go. Click on it and see, see it go. Rawr. Do what? What does it do? Rawr. 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 So basically, Pokemon Sun and Moon introduces this new Alola forms, which is taking these OG classic Pokemon and then making them into these environmental changed version of them, which is really cool. So in real life, you know, we have these different animals from all these different regions, which, you know, have these different tributes, all according to you know, the environment. You have great, like grizzly bears in America, or you have polar bears in Iceland. We yeah, have penguins in the desert, and penguins in Iceland. But Vulpix and Ninetales. Yeah. They have their Alola version, which makes them into a ice, ice type. Which is weird, because Alola is like Hawaii, which is tropical. So why would they be ice? I know. Should I they be grass? I guess that's part of the storyline we'll have to figure out when we actually play the game. They're basically snowy looking animals, and Ninetales looks like beautiful. she has a beautiful mane of beautiful. cloud. I married Ninetales. Yeah. You see a lot of memes. <laughs> Nine tails and ice nine tail Oof, forming bitch. like the yin yang. I like it. <laughs> the next Pokemon that gets that classic form reinterpreted is Sandshrew and Sandslash. Sandshrew looks like an igloo. An igloo? It looks like a walking igloo. It looks, it's pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie, like, it's, it's gonna be like a fan favorite for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And Sandslash looks like, it's cool. like a kaiju. It yeah. looks like a kaiju. Yeah. Like a form of Godzilla smashed up with like an ice cube. Dillo. An ice cube. <laughs> Ice Cube, the rapper. Yes. Go train it all. NWP. All day. NWA, baby. <laughs> what I say? <laughs> With these new Pokemon and these new interpretations, people say that Nintendo is like running out of ideas and they're just trying to refresh and revamp these old classics and without inventing new ones. But I think that's kind of ridiculous. It's like paying, paying homage to the first two games, Red and Blue, has been followed by so many generation. That's why you'll always see a remix of the classics. It's just paying tribute to the fact that, you know, we all grew up with these games and it's something that we have a lot of like enjoyment and like experiences with. And it's OG classic. Yeah. yeah. What other forms would you like to see? Hmm. Like like a, like an ice Pikachu? That'd be cool. A yeah. lightning ice yeah. Pikachu. Yeah. A Pigaloo. <laughs> I don't know about that name. <laughs> Yo. I want a Bulbasaur. A Bulbasaur. Which is a fire type. Fire sword. Fire sword. Fire sword? What would it look like? Would it just have like a big flame instead of the, the bowl? Yeah. It'd be like a simple, flame. basically. Dark squirrel. Dark squirrel? Yeah. Same squirrel, just, just edgy. Basically, squirrel in high school years. Yeah, it's just an edgy with the like, <laughs> mohawk and like, gauges. Yeah, the squirtle you probably find in the corner listening to my chemical like, romance. Like squirtle squad <laughs> with the glasses, but like times 10. Yeah, times 10, there's like 10 of them. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Yes. Like for me, I really like the fact that every generation of Pokemon games introduced a new style of playing or a new element. We got Mega Evolution past two games, and now we're getting these different regional changes in Pokemon, these remakes of classics. Whether it's Mega Evolution or Alola forms, we're also getting uh, different forms. Island. There's four different islands in the game, right? And Oreo, aka Oricorio. Oreo has four different types depending on which island it's on. Yeah. So Pokemon bringing new features of Oricorios and its different form in these different regions, 
There's four for each island. Mm -hmm. There's bale cell, which is representative of it's like this Latin kind of salsa dance. Kind of, you got to get that like icy flip. Yeah. And then there's the uh, pom pom style, which I'm pretty sure that's the uh, classic American style. Yeah. Very reminiscent of the cheerleading. And we got the, yeah. the, the pau? Is it pau? Yeah, the pau style. The hula? Which more is like hula, hula, hula. the hula hula hula? That's not hula, that's why. And of course, you got the sensu style, which is reminiscent of the Japanese. She, she Dance got style. I like that one. That one's my favorite out of you the Oreos. With that's the my favorite Oreo. The Sensu Oreo is my favorite. Yeah, I like the fact that he's using the word Sensu. I mean, what does that tell you as a Dragon Ball Z fan? Sensu, baby, baby. So for the next Pokemon that we see in the trailer, it features Meteor. It looks kind of like, like an asteroid meteor. It's like a rock. And a star. Yeah, it's like a, but the rock is like a shell. And inside is a different core. So when you strip the shell, you get the naked version of Meteor. Which is like, there's Col different color cores. Yeah. For representing this different type or flavors. Mm -hmm. Mini Oreos. Now this game should be just called like Pokemon Chef. Or you know, Pokemon yeah, Cooking. Oreos. I really want some Oreos. I think this game could be like an analog for just candy. Yeah. A lot of different See, Mini Oreos cores kind of like the, like the, the Japanese rock candy. Yeah. And then you get the oozes. That sounds so good right now. I like that. Yeah, me too. Can we get some tomorrow? I love that. Yeah. We'll go get some boba and ask him to give us jelly or something. And we got gumshoe, bruh. Gumshoe looks like Donald Trump, man. I'm going for it. You I think, like it. You think Pokemon is like... You know, would his move be the defensive move where it built a wall as a barricade? And it blocks attacks? And like... And like it says, no Mexicans. That's racist. Don't put that. I think gumshoe is going to get a lot of mean all surrounding Donald Trump. I think it's going to endear Donald Trump. It's going to work for Donald Trump because it's Pokemon. Honestly, he's, he's gonna work that to his benefit somehow. Yeah, he's gonna embrace that. And then all the little kids, the 10 year old boys and girls are gonna vote for him. <laughs> if they could vote. If they could vote, they'll vote with their heart. Next year. Next okay. year, next election. They'll probably just, I mean, <laughs> if Donald Trump is smart, he's definitely gonna make plushies of this gumshoot character <laughs> and give him out to the kids. In a little kids. suit with a little yeah. American pin. Yeah, and then the kids will I, just. I honestly get that. Well, the only way you can get it is you vote for him. It's so that's it. how you get the parents to vote. It's worth it. Uh, that's how you do it. Donald Trump voted for you if you make that. No, I'm not. Donald Trump, don't do that. Because <laughs> then you'll definitely be our president. <laughs> Yo, if he makes that, then he, he, he's, he deserves it. How does this turn into a Donald Trump video? I don't know. Next don't topic. <laughs> Beware is not in the video, but let's talk about Beware. Well, you kind of see Beware's booty. Yo, it's a nice booty. I love Beware, honestly. I might. Like, that's my main reason to get this game. That was the first reason. It's a little bit weird. It's like like a pink red panda with like cat ears, which you notice. I'm about that. It's like an in-game joke. It's like the fact that you have Pokemon cosplaying as no, another Pokemon. You're a joke. You leave beware alone. And he's kind of wearing underwear on his head, which no. happens to be like it's, these ears. That's not underwear. At least he wears underwear. I mean, he looks like a popsicle. You look like a popsicle. Chocolate flavor. It's like like a Domo mixed with a red panda. Strawberry you flavor. You shut your face. <laughs> Beware! Only I can talk crap about, about Pokemon, not you. I think the fact that there might be a move where he strips. Yo, well, honestly. Is he be... like a big muscular man underneath? I think, I'll see if he takes out the pink part, you might see a Diglett. <laughs> <laughs> it's Diglett with, with like little cat ears. Yo, so the secret's out, man. Beware no. is actually Diglett. No, under. Beware is its own creation. It's its own beautiful kawaii creation. I don't, I don't think so. I think. I don't I think care what you think. No, I'm not going to let you talk. I'm going to just keep talking so nobody can hear what you're saying. Be ready. Nope. Illuminati. Nope. Nope. Next nope. <laughs> and the next Pokemon they introduce is Formantis and Lorantis, which of course is the evolution of each other. And it's a grass type. I think, I believe it's a fairy type. But then again, I don't know. I'm just looking at it and guessing. But they introduce this new move called Solar Blade. Very Star Wars related. I guess, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking yeah. Game Freak is just loving the fact that you can just draw from every genre, whether it's political or, you know, sci-fi. For Mantis reminds me of, like, you know those memes where it's like, like, be careful who you call ugly in middle school? And it shows, like, an ugly picture of a little girl, and, like, she grows to be, like, a fine, like, a tin. That's for Mantis whenever it evolves into Mantis. I guess if you're into animals and insects, <laughs> and that could be thin. <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> Whatever gives me attention, really. I'm really lonely. <laughs> So next is Mudbray, which is a 
pre-evolved form, the one previously released is Mudsdale. He kind of looks like, like a donkey. It's a new type, like dragon, donkey type. He's a donkey type? He looks like a donkey, I don't know if it's an actual type. It, it, it's a donkey. There's really not much to say, it's just a donkey. Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Next one! <laughs> So one of the coolest features we get in the game now is riding Pokemon, and you're not using some generic mm -hmm. default substitute looking animated sprite. Like no matter what you rode, it was all that first. Or substitute. But now that our technology has advanced, 15 years later, we can actually ride the actual Pokemon we're riding. Previous generation, we get to ride our bike, but now we have these mobile control animals. If you got Tories, you'd be hitting stuff. You got a Muzzdale, you'd be jumping on stuff. If you got a Charizard, you'd be flying. On stuff. Soaring. Do you think they'll still have the bike even though you can ride Pokemon? I think so. I think maybe riding these Pokemon like, like something specific to an event. Different locations, like you know. only doing a rodeo. Yeah. Maybe there's a rodeo feature in the game. Like we had Oricorio Bail style, which means that- the Salsa Oreo. Yeah, the Salsa. Or which means one of the regions is Latin based. So I wouldn't be surprised to see riding this Taurus as a feature in that region. I totally guessed that. Donald Trump. <laughs> but it's just a theory. Come to figure. A polka theory. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. That was our Pokemon commentary. If you guys can leave a comment about what's your favorite feature or what new feature you guys would like to see, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Donald Trump. 2000 never. <laughs> Ghost you forever. <laughs>